Hello everyone, my name is Cass Phoenix. I'm one of the casters here at the Vandals Esports program. I'm here with our League of Legends varsity coach, Sam. Who's covering up all the logos because you're not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise I'd wave. Have a foot. Um Right now we are uh playing some league, playing some Leaves Crims against the University of Arizona if I'm No. No. So uh, our conference plays was starting right there with the bye week. Alright. Oh, I see. Yeah, I was like, I thought that. Mid lane action. Our mid laner almost died. Are we on map now so they can see what's going on? Yeah. Sure yeah, it's been on that. Blam. Yeah. Um. Uh, Sam has some food, which, I lucky her, food. I want food so bad. <laughs> I want to go I'm hungry. Eat. <laughs> Um, anyway, we are winning four kills to one. Sorry for joining um, in so late. We've had some technical issues. Yeah. Um, vacuum team's out sick. We're just... It's a Tuesday. Yeah. But it's, it's like a very monday Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It's just Monday, too. Ugh. <laughs> I went to the bars. So tomorrow's Monday part three. Oh, It's just Monday all week. Don't remind me. <laughs> um... Well, I guess uh, we should just run through the introductory basics if you want to talk about uh, the lineup that we're, or the comp that we're going for and yeah. our enemy's comp. Um, if you've been tuning in recently, this is a pretty standard comp to what we've been running. This is our starting lineup. This is what we've had. Um, you're going to see a pretty heavy tanky front, uh, top lane. Mm. You're going to see a, generally a briar jungle, just someone that has a massive engage. We've got the Nico mid for some CC. We've got a Kaisa as in our ADC, and then we've got a Shen also for some engage and support. We're really focusing right now on just the speedy engage comps. That's what we do really well. Mm. Changing those fights where we're outmatched into fights where we win. So, yeah. yeah. Um, right now our top lane is losing, but that's what's supposed to happen. So I also had a chance where you can get after the sun dawn and have it not matter. And they take oh my gosh. Uh, our jungler and mid laner are getting some good kills here. Their bot lane up, our bot lane is down to respond. Seeing a 4v3 here. Um, top lane has gone and did get back to the corner. Sion, unfortunately. It's like our jungler's backing off and our mid laner is going to pay the price for it. We're not very careful. They're going to be engaged in the bot lane. Our mid laner went down, but now our ADC Eating up. That was another kill on our jungler. Um, Ignite almost saving that karma. Oh. Away. That is so sad. They almost had her too. Yeah. Not quite sure what Sion was doing there. He ulted literally right under a turret and took half of his health and didn't do anything with it. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the thought process on that play was. Their ADC is now all the way up in top lane. We're kind of roaming. I think we're going to see our top laner go down again here. Yeah. Um, you can also see Blue Team's jungle in the mix. It's going to be a 3v1 up here. Um, yeah, zombie I'm... Zombie Sion looking to take down that oh. game. Oh, yeah. Zion becomes a zombie. That's a thing. Oh, yeah. But zombie's out before he can get him killed. There's the enemy jungler engaging on our mid lane. Um, absolutely brutal. That said... In order to get all these kills, their ADC is still in the top lane. Their jungle's committed top. Take a look at where our bot lane is at right now. They're pushing real hard. Mm -hmm. That's the price for getting pressure elsewhere. Is now our bot lane is just getting chunky on the turret place. Mm -hmm. And it seems like in the long run that might be better, but it looks like the uh, enemy team has tried to uh, even some things out here. Uh, We're even on kills. Are up on gold right now. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it plays out. Um, in the long run, you really do want your <laughs> ADC to be really um, <laughs> our, our, our 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 production has a uh, has put up our, our our little basically our teleprompter. Uh, but the computer that we're using for it at the moment is uh old. Yeah. I think that's like Windows Seven. Yeah. 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 And uh, <laughs> all it says on the screen is test. <laughs> you know, highly important notes in our production 
Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting glares. Um, so anyway, we're going back to laning. Um, their bot lane is back. We had you have a couple gold, a uh, couple turret plate advantage down there. And I have ice cream. I'm pretty sure my parents are watching this, but don't tell them that I started with the ice cream and not the main course. Yeah, no, of course. Okay, I'll start screaming more. Oh, give me a second. I'll turn you up. Because okay. I, I think I turned you down just a little <laughs> bit too much. I'll turn you up, turn you down. Is that your plot to get all the attention on you? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm here to silence women, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to fight the dragon pit. We will deal with that comment here. In a <laughs> so if we have their mid lane and bot lane coming in, our jungler's going to get collapsed on. But we're looking to then collapse it on that. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to work out. There's the engage. There's the ADC down. Um, that's our support down, but there's the mid laner ult coming in with the oh. ADC and mid lane just cleaning it up. Uh, that ends up being... That was a wonderful fight. It was a three for two. Yeah. Uh, could have been a little bit better. The engage could have come out a little bit faster from mm. our guys, but we engaged. So it was good. Slort. Bonk. That, that yeah, it sounds about right. Am I still too quiet? Um, no, I think I'm just really loud because I'm constantly clipping. But your mic is also a bit far away from your mouth, which makes sense because you're eating. Sorry, I'll just swallow my mic now. <sighs> there you go. Uh, is that better? I don't know. Okay, you're good? apparently. Okay. It looks, it looks like I'm good. I don't know. They just, they just hired me to, they hired me to coach League and like talk about things. <laughs> um, there's our jungler and our support just to gank that top lane, help get some advantage going nice. up. Nice. Um, I think we're looking for Rift here. Because with that top lane kill, we're going to have Rift priority. Uh, first, Drake went to the enemy team, unfortunately. But I think we can get Rift here. Nico's starting to put the hammer down on that brand. Level advantage, all that. I was right, we are going for first Rift here. Um, support sweeping through mid, gonna try and help it out. Jar, their enemy jungler's in the dragon pit, and I'm not, oh, no, second dragon is up, excuse me. Um, so, they're going for the cross map objective, we're getting rift, they're gonna get Drake. Neom, there goes Sion, bot lane. Um, looks like we might be trying to challenge this Drake, we're not gonna get the Drake, but we might be seeing another dragon pit fight here. Um, Sion is clearing some vision. We'll see where things end up. Uh, we could either reset or see a pretty big team fight here. Meanwhile, there's just Kaisa plugging away at the tower, getting the gold, getting the farm, getting the levels, getting what she needs. And I mean, Kaisa's 5-0-1 right now. Like, that's not, that's that's something to be scared of. She is getting double ganked here, unfortunately, and Kaisa's are squishy. Um, it's now a 3v1. Our support was like, yeah, I'm gonna help. <laughs> Uh-oh. Never mind. <laughs> and is now promptly running away. I cannot say that I blame him. There goes the Briar ult hitting the Jarvan. In comes the Briar right into three of them. There goes the um, mid lane and support coming in, though. That's what I was talking about, which is that fast engage that we're looking at. Um, there's the Nico ult coming in in the middle there. We're going to hopefully polish off that vein, but our Shen has to be a little bit careful because he's kind of getting pinched out. Nico's really low. They just engaged faster. Oh, Kaisa oh. had to back, as did Briar. Oh, oh no. Oh, we backed out of that fight. And they get first turret in the top lane. Well, that was that was a trade. Uh, I Here comes the Kaisa, um, trying to polish it off. There's the Kaisa shut down in the Briar. Like I said, we'll turn it around. Um, that, that second turret down up top. Um, interestingly enough, Shyvana's not a top laner. Shyvana's usually seen in jungle because she gets buffs against Drakes because she is part dragon. Oh. So we normally see her in the jungle. I don't think I've ever actually seen her top lane before. It's working. Um, we drop Rift Herald bot to try and help even out some of those turrets. Again, funneling all of that gold straight into, my ice cream doesn't want to close, um, our ADC. Shelly is still alive with a whole 71 hit points. That's not going to last very long. Yeah, no, there absolutely it goes. not. You know, she tried. She tried. Yeah. So. It seems like we still have a 2k advantage and, um, what, 
few hundred gold advantage. A thousand. Just about. I mean, it's 26.2 to 27.3. Yeah, I can math in my yeah. head. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Another just reset, hitting that button. Um, our mid and top laner switched, if you look. So that's our mid laner running down top now. Mm -hmm. And then our top laner running down mid. Just kind of press the advantage where we can. Here's the ADC coming to help out. And the Briar ult. That Briar ult is going to go in on that. That's four on there. There's the Scion ult coming in. Um, that's one coming in for, unfortunately, our jungler dies. But that's two. That should be three. Um, that's still our Scion. That's going to be a four for two trade. No. Sorry. I thought that our Scion was dead. Uh, he me too. Dead. I thought that was Zombie Scion. It wasn't. Oh. Cool. Impressive. Yeah. Um, I think this game is going to be a lot faster than either of us anticipated it to be. Um, we still need to keep that Kaigon in check, which is where we're going right now. Mm -hmm. um, like, they are threatening the crack open base there. But there's the Nico ult. We're just saying, hi, we see you. There's four. Die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that's the one thing that their top laner is doing really well. They're keeping the pressure up. Matt said we're keeping the pressure up better. There's a Kaisa. Might try and 1v1 the Jarvan. I don't think he has the oomph to. Yes, he oh, does. Oh, wow. I stand corrected. That is a 9, 1, and 3 Kaisa, though. So, like, nothing to slouch at. See, Two completed items and boots, plus a completed cull. The that strat here at the casting corner is yeah. if you're going to call something out and you want something to go well, you just got to call it out like it's going to go awful. That's right. That's right. That's why I'm not allowed in the casting corner <laughs> when they're actually playing games. <laughs> I get to be in the spectator's area with everybody else going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, I mean, we're doing absolutely excellent trying to bring up more pressure back into mid. And, uh, you know, we're while starting to scout out the teams we're going to go against in our conference. I see. Because, um, you know, we are in a seven-team conference, so we are the only guys with a bye today. Mm-hmm. So we get some intel on them, but because we're streaming, they get some intel on us. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure a couple other coaches are going to watch this, see what we're doing, see where we're at. And so then they're going to know our comp going in. Mm. And that if they, if it's a good coach, a good captain, they're going to do the scouting, they're going to know the comp, they're going to know it's coming. Mm. So it's just a matter of executing, which here we are. We're up to almost a 4,000 gold lead at this point and seven kills. Um, they're really trying to get that pressure in mid, but just two people are able to fend off three. And the cowbells are going, so Overwatch must be doing all right. Um, there's the mid laner trying to run away from their top laner. There's the ADC just chunking down the enemy ADC to half. I mean, just chunking. And oh, hi there, Mr. Jungler. And the Shen, that's just a polished off karma. Oh. It's, you know, as a player, that kind of move just hurts. Mm. You think you're getting away, and then you run into two of them, and all you can say is, well... I go, oh, God, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to try to get that brand before I get back into turret range. Briar is taking a couple turret shots, being held in turret range by the Jarvan, and that will polish her off. Um, and then the Shen going in as well, also going to get polished off by that Jarvan. That's unfortunate. Um, we do, however, see Kaisa taking the Drake by herself. So not all for naught. There's some interesting things going on. There's a lot of back and forth, and we still have an advantage, but it just seems like there are a lot of tight moments, if I'm not mistaken. Like that one. Yeah. Um, when you look at their team, um, their team is basically Jarvan right now. Mm -hmm. He's 8-6. and six. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So between Jarvan and Shyvana, we really just need to focus on shutting them down. Right now, there's a Shyvana pushing our turret. And she just has a lot of hit points, and she's in dragon form. There goes the Nico ult. Nico getting absolutely shredded. Takes three to polish off the Shyvana. It worked. Like, I'm not going to complain. Uh, I'm going to clean out the vision right there as they're running on down. Going to let Nico keep getting that solo speed. There comes the Scion ult just going zoom mm, into everything, yeah. trying to protect that mid turret. I wonder, because it, it seems like most of their attempts to use that ult were just for quick movement. Yep. So that's generally what Scion ult is for. Yeah. It does have a knock if you can hit something, but generally you'll see it to get back in the lane or into the action quickly. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to pick off that Karma. Did try and flash over the wall, and she made it, and then she got shot through the wall. Um, looks like their mid laner is going to recall. Right now, though, 
clearing some vision. There's a Jarvan engaging on our jungler. Unfortunately for him, there's a Jen. I think maybe, maybe. Ha! Ah, this is stressful. Yeah, no, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling the pressure. Um, their jungler just taking down one at a time, our guys. Um, we and their bot lane starting to push the turret. Uh, oh! There's the ADC coming in. There's the jungler kill. Brand is two, five, and eight. He doesn't have the oomph to handle that Kai, so that's gonna be like five hit points left. Maybe 50. Scion goes big bonk. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Scion does. Scion yeah. goes Neum and big bonk. You know, like very professional. Yeah, word no, here. absolutely. Zoom and big bonk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. So just running through there, a Briar ult gets missed. I think they were counting on that. Scion's going to run away and retreat, as is the Shen. They cannot take down that Shyvana as is. Kaisa is going to get that turret, is going to get that Shelly, is going to get that Karma. So that Shyvana is going to have to respawn mid. If not, Kaisa's going to keep running it down. But as of right now, we're responding to that. Looks like the Vayne's coming in to collapse on the Kaisa. They are. I wish we could go down there. There's the kill on the Vayne off that Kaisa. Doing wonderfully. 13, 2, and 5. Like... Deadly. Can one v one pretty much anybody right now? Yeah, no, this is I I don't know whether to feel excited for our team or feel really bad for our enemies here. <laughs> excited? Duh. Well yeah, of course. I have to I must have school spirit. That's how this works. It's homecoming week of all. Oh uh, yes. Oh yeah. I totally knew that. I'm selling alcohol at the football game this weekend, so I got my schedule. They're like, yeah, 4.30 to like 10.30. <laughs> but it's really funny because I'm not 21, so I can't actually sell alcohol for the University of Idaho. So I don't I'm think you should have said that. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm selling the wooden coin that people then used to go buy alcohol. I see. So I'm selling the token, but not the actual alcohol. It's homecoming week, <laughs> and we're back with the Miko ult. Holly ult just engaging on the bot lane. Just powing through these guys. Shivana and uh, Jarvan really are standing up to them because they're the only ones with any sort of hit points at this point. Um, blue team is trying to surrender. It's not going at this point. But we'll see if the game ends early. Yeah. Um, but for right now, just pushing. You know, they made it 21 minutes. Like, some pro games end before this. Mm -hmm. If it ends before, like, 20 minutes, you call it a curb stomping. Like, so at least they've made it 20 minutes. You know, they're lasting. They're doing all right. They have really good top lane pressure. Mm. The problem is Shivana's staying in that top lane. And while her pressure is amazing, her, the rest of her team really, really needs her. Yeah. That Ignite, I think, that is going to get the Shivana kill. We are engaging a little hard in turret main. Going for the kills, but you have to be careful because bot turret is up, so we can't go engaging in on that. Do get mid in hit. This is what I'm talking about with Shivana. Shivana needed to be here. Mm -hmm. um, our support is going to get picked off if he's not careful. But there comes the damage from the Kai'Sa. I think we get the Shen out of there quickly. Um, ADC is going to back up, try and get a little support down. And they're low. Migo's going to keep pushing out that top lane. Um, Drake's up in 12 seconds. And I think we'll be able to have the priority to get that one too. So it's looking pretty good. But the enemy team is having their moments. Like, they are, they're, they're trying. They're trying really hard. Um, I just think Shyvana needs to be a little bit less of a top island and needs to be with the team a bit more at this point. Like, right now, she's heading bot with everybody. So now we should start seeing some issues in the team fights. Mm -hmm. Doggo go Bork and Doggo go Woof with Doggo go Sit going mid lane. I just, I wanted to say their names. <laughs> Like, tell me those aren't the best coordinated names. Yeah. Engaging on the support. Um, everybody else is coming in. There's another kill on the jungler. Oh. There's a kill there. That is there was Brand running away. Yeah. Triple oh kill off God. our ADC. That is a 16, 2, and 6 Kaisa right now. That's... I mean, that was a beautiful fight, but also... I, I mean, I feel like I should have seen it coming. None of them had the ability to withstand a second in that fight. And just to see them absolutely wiped. And again, Shyvana was not in that fight. Mm -hmm. Shyvana has the most hit points. Shyvana needed to be there. Here comes the Briar ult. I think we are going to see that Briar engaging. We'll absolutely murder Karma. Oh. And now oh. the rest of the team who's just going to push in the lanes. Now it's just Shyvana up for another five seconds. Here comes the rest of the team. I think we get a turret here. Um, are flashing out, are going to try and kill in turret. That's going to be a zombie Scion, which is massive damage to the turret. Is going to get taken down, but is going to buy enough time for the rest of the team to back out. And then there's Kaisa, just pushing bot lane. 
Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Don't mind me. <laughs> even pressure is what we call it. Uh, well, we I don't know about how even. There's uh, one coming from jungle, I believe, yes. Yeah. And then well, um, so we had a conversation after our last game about how you really want to be playing in the line. There's the Shivana I was talking about. It does get taken down, but it does take three of us, and she gets a kill while she goes down. Um, that Darwin is also dangerous. If Shivana and Darwin together actually worked together, they'd be doing way better. Um, Ari is probably going to take down that Shen, too. Sorry, time, but there is no help there. So we'll see if the Shen can get out. Um, but we talked a lot about how when you're applying pressure, you want to be in a line. So like River's the line, you want to be in that line across mm. the map, which is what we were doing. It puts even pressure in all the lanes. Um, makes them have to respond to you, makes them have to care. Bonk! <laughs> into the karma. Beautifully well-timed. Like, just They're hiding there. They're so like desperate. That's, it's karma strange. Karma does not have the oof to take on a Scion. No, not at all. But even then, it's like they were following. Oh, sorry. I think that's Vayne, not Karma. We'll they see what. They okay, Vayne has the oof to take on a Scion, but not this Scion. I just, it was strange as uh, how long that they were following them. Like, at some point, you either give up. Otherwise, you're just walking straight into the trap at that oh point. Oh, yeah. Totally. Especially since they have no vision in that top jungle. They didn't know what they were walking into. And it's a fair bet. If you're chasing them towards their own base, it's a fair bet an enemy camp uh, camp's coming out to help them. Mm -hmm. um, here's a Scion Shen looking to go in on that brand. Uh, there's the Karma, but there's our Kaisa. And our Kaisa's level 14. Their support is level 10. Their mid lane is level 12. I don't think I can emphasize enough just how chunky our ADC is right now. He's, he's two levels above our top lane. <laughs> like, like 16, 3, and 7 with Rabadons, with Grinsus, with the Nasher's Tooth, with the Static Shift and the Kraken Slayer on the boot. She is full build 25 minutes in. Mm -hmm. And that is terrifying. A full build Kaisa with the tank to protect her is terrifying. Like, I have had Kaisa's one shot me before from full health. Kaisa's well, are terrible. That's like, granted, I was playing a Blissier champ, but that was like mm. 1,600 points of damage in <laughs> one go. Um, that's the one thing that Kaisa's not going to do well on is that just jump engage, gets the shield off of the gen, takes a kill with her. Here comes the Briar ult, might be engaging. There's the vein. Then staying mid, Briar is. Coming, no, sorry, that's the Nico acting as a Briar. Briar gets one kill. Briar going in for two and for three. There's the gem coming in. There's the teleport coming in oh from the God. top laner. We're just going to engage and run them down. And bonk, there's the ace. Wow. Bonk. Big bonk. Big bonk. There's a 21 kill difference here. Now, here... Some teams might go for the Baron. Uh -huh. like we aced, we can Baron. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're looking for the Finn. Um, I disagree with that because they're starting to respawn now. I would take the Baron and then use that to push. Mm -hmm. But they're looking for the finish is really really what they're looking for. And that makes sense. You know, get it over with. We are, they're already so far ahead, and it's like they might as well try to take advantage of that. Yeah. No, I wanted to ask earlier about uh, Kaisa being at full build this early, I guess, into the game. Relatively speaking, yeah. What could you use to explain for that? Good farming, good 18, engagement. 4 and 7. Yeah. 18 kills. 18. <laughs> plus the solo plate gold in the bot. Mm. Lane, 18 kills. Like, <laughs> um, Briar is really close to full build right now, too, with 12 kills. Mm. You know, 18 kills. Like, that's the easy answer is 18 kills. <laughs> 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 and 7 assists. Yeah. Like, I, 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 yeah, I guess that makes sense. They, um, the enemy jungler just stole the Baron. That's unfortunate. That does give them the Baron. We can pick it off and kill him, but we really did want that Baron. There goes the Shen with a shutdown. In goes the Briar. Down goes the Brand. That's the Vayne. There's the Nico. Oh. So, yes, they got Baron. But now only two people on their team have it. Um... Shivana's pushing top, Sion's going to try and deflect, deal with that a little bit. Shivana really is the scary one on their team. She's level 16. Um, just kind of shredding that turret. There's not much our top laner can do about it. They will need to back and answer. Um, looks like we're going to have Briar taking jungle. Great. Um, Nico coming back to help with the inhib, and then Kaisa pushing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a race to the death right now. 
is kind of what we're looking at. We're looking at Kaisa running into their base uninhibited, but Trivana running into our base uninhibited. Mm. So as it stands, it's kind of a race of who's going to kill shit first. And in that, I have Trivana, actually, because Trivana does more attack damage than Kaisa. Mm. Kaisa backing out a little bit. We're pushing the Trivana back. Um, third trick shot. Hi, Briar. <laughs> Oh um, my. Oh yeah, no. Uh, there's the Kaisa coming in, just going to go and finish it off. There's the Vayne, like, yeah, I can help, and I think better of this. <laughs> so. It, this, you know, this is really stressful to watch. There are a lot of fights where I'm like, oh, oh no, this might not be good. And then out of nowhere, you have someone else immediately ready to come in and either take that cleanup or help pinch him. Right. And that's. I th that is great team synergy and such like that, but like uh, it's just brutal out here. But see, the thing is, I think if the enemy team had better synergy, they'd be doing better. Mm. Like, it's the fact that Kivana insists on going out on her own. It's the fact that she's refusing to help her team. Mm. Solo pushing does not win games. Mm. Like, it's interesting because one of the biggest struggles I had with these guys is I managed to get five amazing individual players on my team. Mm -hmm. Like, truly, in their respective lanes, amazing. That said... They yes. need to figure out how that to play said, as a team. Yes. Yeah. Um, that said, we had to figure out how to get them as a team and get mm -hmm. that cohesion going. We had a couple of friends, but we also had a couple of really quiet guys. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes to my production team. Probably if I have like a five minute break to eat. Um, my production team knows I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, weather changed, so I think yeah. we might be able to make a difference this way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like self conscious right now. Um, but see, again, Shivana going in on our lane. We're crushing them down bot. Yes, it's great. Yes, she's getting turned, but so are we. And we have three and they have one. And we are going to win that mm -hmm. every single time. That is, uh, this is, no, this is, oh, God. And it's bothered. There's the Nico ult taking half. Oh. Of the There's the Paula. Oh. They got one Nexus turret left. That's the ace. That's going to be the turret. That's the and game, then, honestly. Oh, God, yes. And then just There's new, 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 new. And, new. yeah, there was no coming back from that. That is... And you know what's fascinating to me? What's absolutely fascinating is that Shivana has the same nickname as two other people. So that was at least a party of three. Mm -hmm. Just refusing to help. Refusing to stop being that top lane mm -hmm. island. And I don't know. This is very clearly the coach in me going, what are you doing? Exactly. Well, I, I wonder if it was just a choice of like trying to play Ego. Maybe playing extra aggressive will get me some extra opportunities to get some kills and stuff like that. But and she would have gotten way more kills. If she played with other team. people. Yeah. Yeah. So, anywho. Well, okay. Uh, I mean, great game as usual. Uh, I, I guess we're on for break now. Yeah, we're going to be on for a five-minute break, and then we will catch you with another probably amazing round. <laughs>
Oh, no, you got to hit. There he is. All right. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we are back for game two. Uh, I'm still here with Sam, who has finished their dinner, hopefully. No. No? I ate chicken nuggets, but I still have fries and a burger. I like the rest of that frosty. Oh, I'm so jealous. I haven't been in Wendy's in way too long. My I fiance was nice enough to go. He was out, so he brought me food. Well. Because he knows I don't eat otherwise. That is I would, like, literally starve to death if it weren't for him. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, I just forget to eat. Um, anyway, we're about to see a kill top lane here. So, confusion abounds because that is an enemy team Scion, and our team's playing Teemo. I'm pretty sure for this game, they said, let's just play champs we don't normally play. Um, so, we got a Teemo top lane, same Briar jungle, Syndra mid, uh, Jinx ADC, and Trundle support. Trundle is normally a jungler. So, that's going to be an interesting play. I do want to point out on their team, um, Yi is like one of the easiest junglers on the map, mm -hmm. like in the game. You just run up and hit Q and you kill things. It's great. Um, and then that Blitzcrank Ash combo, I think it was with Amelia last week that I was talking about the absolute lethality of that. And we're going to see it right there. Stunned, pulled in, airborne, and slowed off the Ash. The heal's coming in, the ignite's coming in, the flax's coming in using all the summoner spells. Trundle is going to get away with it, but it is absolutely lethal. There's the... Production's not talking to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard production talking, hence the, like, absolute freeze. Production was talking loud enough I heard production. <laughs> it's fine. We love production. Um, anyway, that Blitzcrank Ash is lethal. Like, we got away with it there. Mm. Uh, <laughs> we totally got away with it there, but that Blitzcrank Ash combo can be absolutely lethal. There's the Yi in the jungle, and he's about to get collapsed. He does not know what's coming for him. That is four coming from him. Our ADC is running away. Mew, 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 right into the rest of the team. There's the stun. There's the Blitz Bank pulling in, but does not have the backup. That's a 4v2 right now. Because they're actually the going to get up there. There's a kill. Um, our little Teemo is going to get killed, unfortunately. That is kind of sad. Teemo doesn't do well into Zion early game. Mm. Teemo's very squishy and all of that. But, you know, um, I don't think I've ever actually talked about the Blitz Bank actually badly. Um, one of my good friends when we play, he's a 55-year-old British man in Denver, Colorado. Oh. Um, like, heavily British. And I love him dearly. He's <laughs> a very good online friend of mine. He has this cute dog named Charlie. Oh. That's, like, really old, and so he's really crotchety. Mm. And so, like, every now and again, you'll just, like, the player will just, like, disappear, and you're like, what the hell happened? And he had to let his dog out and then back in. And it's like, you'll hear him going, do you need to go out? Like, get our <laughs> mid-game break, and he comes back, and then it's like, Oh, look, now you need to go out. Um, but he plays Blitzcrank a lot. Mm. And so I got really good at Ash with his Blitzcrank. Um, Scion, oh, just get out of there. I, I, yeah, um, Teemo is going to start doing pretty well. Oh, we didn't set up the settings this time like we did last time. Oh. For the scoreboard and all I that. I can run over and go do that. No, oh, you keep going. It's fine. Like, it, it, it's just a thing to remember. There's a sport coming in on the mid trying to get a little sizzly pop with the traffic cone. Mm. Um, that's a skin feature. There's a Yi hiding behind a wall. Um, yes, that actually counts as hiding in terms of vision. You can't tell it with the way we have the map set up. But surprise, it's a Yi going in on the engage, trying to hit that Q. Don't think we're going to get much of any We're retreating back on our tower. Um, top laner is doing pretty well as Teemo, all things considered, into a Scion. Scion should really be kicking his booty. Um, so. Yeah. Words. Words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're hitting that time of night. And I was telling these guys, you know, I had a meeting at 8 this morning. Mm. And then it's been work and class and work and meeting and meeting and then here. And my brain is malfunctioning. There's the Teemo kill we wanted to see. Oh. It's a mutual. It's a mutual. At least he got it. Okay. Um, that is going to be Zombie Scion pushing lane, which is less than ideal because Zombie Scion does do a lot of damage. But at least we got the kill back. Mm -hmm. But Teemo's just going to keep scaling better and better. Um, Teemo really does have a much stronger late game than he does early game. Dramatic pause because I thought I had to sneeze. Yeah, I know. That's fair. <laughs> uh, it seems like there is a pending 2v2 fight in bot lane. Always. That's just like the state of bot lane. Yeah. 
we'll see. Looks like the junglers might be getting into it here in the mid lane. Mm. Um, everybody's just kind of feeling it out. We're winning the tiny scrimmages. Our jungler is going in. I think stole the scuttle crab if I saw that right. No, sorry, he did get the scuttle. Is going to get the kill here if we're not careful. But there's the scion. But there's the mid lane coming in. That's the kill on the enemy jungler. Scion coming in. There's the top lane in the mid lane in the jungler. And that is the team composition that we were working on. Is it the same camp they were playing? No. Is it the same cohesion and engage? Yes. Here's the 2v2 in the bot lane you were talking about. Um, Blitzcrank's not getting the hooks on the champions. They're playing really well with a minion in front of them. They're doing a really good job. Um, there's the Ignite on the Blitzcrank. Trundle's going for it. There's the Flash. Really trying to get that. Um, I think the Jinx might have the oomph to polish off one or two of these guys in turret range. There's the Trundle traffic cone. Um, Timo's going to get bloated here if he's not very careful. There's the flash out of it, just around, running around. We will be fine. Um, Timo, as his attack speed gets there, his blind is going to start becoming infinitely more useful. For right now, just playing playing a game of cat and mouse right now, which is really funny because a lot of people call Timo a rat. <laughs> um, he's actually a Yordle. <laughs> um, just like Heimerdinger and Tristana and a couple others, he's actually a Yordle, but he has poison, and he's like one of the few ranged top laners, and people really hate him, so people just call him a rat. Which, as someone who started as a Timo main, there's that hook coming in with the Ignite. Um, there's the Q coming out. That was just unfortunate. That's that lethality, the bot line. In comes the Briar ult, going to completely miss everybody, unfortunately. Chasing down the support right in the turret range. Ye might get greedy here. Ye hits the Q, gets greedy, does get the kill, but I think it's going to get polished off by turret. Camera moves, so I could take a look. There goes our mid lane as well. They're starting to win these intermediate fights. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see. Ooh. This is nice. We do seem to have a bit of a gold advantage. Five thousand, five hundred. You're not fast on the math, so I figured I'd do the math for you. Thank you. I'm an accounting major. That's it. I was saying that the <laughs> math is your job. Yeah, literally. All day, every day, I'm like sales, pull out sales tax, <laughs> sales, less sales tax. They pay well though. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we're just back to farming. We are going for the Drake. Mm. Looks like we're going to get it unopposed. I don't think they know we're here. Um, so if we can just polish it off pretty quick, that'll be first Drake. I'm in the sense, kind of late for a first Drake um, in general, considering it spawns at five, but this team really likes going for it, eight or nine, once they have a more um, presence associated with it. Mm. There's the Drake. Rift Herald is up. They'll probably go for that here pretty soon if they can get a kill in either the top or the mid lane. Looks like a 3v1 confrontation almost happening in bot lane with someone coming from jungle to try and answer that. That is our support who is helping with Drake. There's the Ash ult coming in. We do have the level advantage um, plus the root. Going to get some good damage in. I don't think we're going to get any kills down there. Um, still just our Teemo running um, as is our mid lane. It's funny because Truman, our mid laner, Jedi Ninjas, <laughs> does not play Syndra very much anymore. Mm. But Syndra's like one of his first true main champs that he's good at. There's the um, Scion ult, completely wasted the airborne, all of that. Um, this might be another one. Running into the shrooms, getting the poison down. I think gets the kill, but then needs to get the heck out of dodge because there's the zombie Scion and the E. Nowhere to run there. Uh. Um, at least let's. Ye not get the assist. Um, it, coming in on the flank there, getting pulled right into the middle, but that's where you want Trundle. Um, you really do want Trundle in the middle. Um, Ignite going down on the Ash. Ash trying to get the kill and just getting popped. And we can just run down that blitz right now. Just whoop. Um, top lane coming in. That was our mid lane helping out against. Yes, that was our mid lane and our jungler in top lane. Just cleaning up. I wouldn't be surprised if we go for Rift here. Um, Briar can solo rift. Uh, Briar ult coming in is going to just miss, so is going to start rift. There's uh, Truman going for it, the victor. Victor is kind of pounding him a little bit, which is surprising because you really don't see Truman lose late. Um, one of our big things is he's really good at what he does. One of his big things is we're going to be playing through mid lane a lot. Mm -hmm. Playing through his versatility, playing through his ability to play anything well. Um, Trundle pops the stopwatch, goes golden. Let's Jedi take the kill. Was good. Um, yeah, still just a game of cat and mouse with the rat with this Teemo. Needs to get a little bit better about avoiding those airborne. Those are starting to do some serious damage, but we're doing more damage. Um, considering that at this point, Sire probably has about a thousand more hit points mm. than Teemo, between 500 and a thousand. 
Dryer's starting to poke into their jungle just a little bit. Um, just gonna see where things are at. There's the teleport coming in top lane to try and help out the uh, jungle. Yeah, mid lane teleporting top to help out the top laner. It's a one for one right now. Sion's gonna chase down Jedi. Uh, might be able to lull him into turret range and get a kill or get stunned in there. It'll be interesting to see what happens up there, but right now we're mid with that fight there. Um, Victor taking on our jungler, Briar. Um, there's the long range hit from that Jinx coming in really handy, slowing down just enough that Briar can clean it up. Taking a mid wave while Syndra takes on Scion in the top lane. Um, Ash trying to get some damage down in that trundle, but Spink hanging in the bush. Don't think he knows there. he's there. Trying to get that hook going in, getting the hook missed. We drop the rift down mid um, with our jungler going to try and really get that turret. Don't think it's going to quite go. Looks like we've got about half a plate left, hmm. um, but well on our way to taking the first turret. There's the trundle. I don't know why he's engaging this. His ADC is backing right now, but they're getting really good at dodging those Blitzcrank hooks. Um, Blitzcrank hooks are a weakness in my personal gameplay because I'm really bad at running side to side. Hmm. And Blitzcrank hooks are really easy to avoid if you run side to side. And they're really hard to avoid if you run up and down. So I'm not good at running side to side. So Blitzcrank just goes chonk all the damn time. Anyway, getting the Ignited on the Ash, going and just beating him to death with the club. There's the Briar roll coming in top. Scion did take down that team again. Um, Briar seeing if he can finish something up up there. Getting the Flash out of there. I think he's going to get pawned oh. off by that Scion too. Going to get chased down just a little bit. Running back at a turret range. Mute, there's the kill as well. That's an unfortunate shutdown to that Scion. That Scion's starting to get really terrifying up there. I need to breathe. Yeah, um... <laughs> Let's see if I can fill for time. Uh, it seems like our mid lane is kind of dancing around. Um, yeah. No, no, it's kind of just jungle. nothing happening anymore. <laughs> Enemy jungler is, did invade our jungle. Mm. Oh man, all my ice is melted. Now the question That's why you don't buy soda with ice. Huh? That's why you don't buy soda with ice. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if this is water or spicy water. Sprite, mm. spicy water. Mm. It's spicy water. And it feels good on my throat. It seems like there's some. Next kind break of is coming in. It's looking like we're going to be posturing for it. Mm -hmm. um, nothing immediate right now. Looks like Briar is going to be going for it because we just cleared out Vision with that control ward. Here, I would put a ward out back so you can see you when it's coming, trying to come in. Because they have no map awareness of you right now. We do, as commentators, we see that he's just clearing camp. Should be able to clear out the second strike really well. So we're really winning those neutral objectives nice and easily. Um, that's our bot uh, support coming in with our mid uh, to try and take down that Victor now that turret's gone. Victor's running away. But there's the slow, still running, getting polished off by Syndra. Um, there's the Ash ult completely missing, and the Briar just polishing that E off. Um, meanwhile, big bonks. That's right, any side can big bonk, not just my Scion. Starting to just try and farm under turret. He's going to get absolutely murdered in here. Here comes the Trundle to try and help out. Is under turret. Timo needs to stay alive as long as humanly possible. Um, not doing that very well. There's the zombie Scion coming out. Is just going to pop turret. Try and get that down. Oh, it's going to get distracted by minions. Interesting. Um, our okay, okay. Trundle is emoting. All right. That's, that's what he's doing. I'm so glad we feel comfortable in this game. <laughs> Uh, 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 that seems to be the common vibe. It's like we take things serious enough to win they fights. They take things seriously enough to win. But yeah. There are five guys who most of them are fresh. <laughs> like Tavian's not even 18 yet. <laughs> like these are really just young adults trying to figure out college, giving their time to an esports team to hang out, playing a game they like, and like getting paid for it for once. And that's um, that's what's awesome about this. It, it is. Um, Victor does go golden. Is going to try and polish off the Sinker, but he's going to get bonked from behind. Um, our ADC is going to get taken down for a nasty shutdown by the enemy jungle. That's kind of what Yi does. He's just awful. He's your beginning jungler. Mm. It is what it is. I hear the cowbells going, which means I know we get something exciting in about three minutes. <laughs> 
But of course, you know, I have the short term memory of a goldfish. So I will forget in three minutes. And then you're going to be surprised all over again. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's like great for me to cast. Especially yeah. on those nights where we're not going to be casting live. Mm. I'm going to be showing you guys replays. I'm going to know what's have happened. But I'm going to like have forgotten what happened. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Thanks, production. <laughs> My production team is now trying to be helpful. Uh, I have a T minus two minutes, something happens countdown going. Uh, <laughs> um, our main production is sick tonight. So we got back at production, hence why we were streaming CS. Um, you know, uh, until a while ago. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. No one saw, no one noticed. Literally got a text that the Twitch chat was talking about it. Hmm. Because they know we can't see chat. Um, anywho, we're just scrimmaging. We're starting to apply pressure. We do have two tier one turns down. We're trying to get that top one taken. That's why we rotated our ADC top. Just trying to take those. See what happens. So, we'll see. Um, we're pushing mid a little bit more. There's the Briar ult. Just seeing if we can fish anything. Running into turret range. Really just not doing that. Dead in the kill in turret race. Whoa. Oh. Um, is going to get hit by the turret. Is going to go down. Oh, unfortunately. Mm, yeah. Overstayed just a little bit. But, you know, it's still a kill for a kill. And a kill going to a flip prank isn't the end of the world. Uh, we're going for second rift here. We only have about a minute before it despawns. So we do need to stay up on it. Ash is going to polish off. Our mid laner, if we're not careful, there's the Yi with the R with the Q. Uh, That's just what Yi does. He's been getting some massive shutdowns, so we do start being a real big problem here. Um, there's the... We did get second rift. Oh. Um, he's going to get a kill, and I think there's our top lane and our ADC. There's the Q coming out from the Yi again. Is, we are going to get those two kills, though, finally. Took long enough. Um, took a lot of summoner spells off our guys but was still worth it in the end. Our top laner is two levels down um, on that Scion. Just, he's private. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's our juggler. Oh. And even though, like, I was a little concerned that it might not be a good fight, Scion's still trying to run away. Uh, uh, probably going to cast half. ult here in this sack. Oh. Um, and just unstoppable out of there. That is one of the advantages of... Scion ult. Um, if not, is this going to get hunted down because, t oh no, top turret's still up, so might get hunted down. Yes, but in turret range, so we have to be really careful for that zombie Scion. Um, we'll see how it goes. Zombie Scion fading fast. Our jungler is going to get out of there. And I think you're going to do the excuse me for a minute because I think there's something in my eye. Uh. Mm, Looks like there's some more movement. I can't tell which jungle that is because I don't remember all of them yet. Um, quick team fight. Almost happening. Seems like they're kind of dancing around looking for the right moment to engage. Uh, it's still pretty much a I want to say a 4v2 fight down there as they're still waiting for some of their teammates to get back to the fight. Um, blue team decided to just not engage on it. So we're going to get a third Drake. So far we have gotten every new kill objective that there has been. Um, and so that is just brilliant. Um, when in doubt, say a th the person's hitting another person and they're doing damage. Yeah. That's what League is. It's a lot of hitting each other. Yeah. So um, top lane still has two turrets up for their team. But we drop Rift mid again. Just... Really going to get that push in. Might get to in-hit. There's the entire team responding. Um, Timo was invisible and thought he couldn't get seen and that Oracle oh. showed him up. So he just kind of gets mauled. Yeah. Timo doesn't have the hit points to handle that. In goes the Scion ult. Mule. And Scion does do a lot of damage to turrets. That's kind of his thing. Look at how fast that turret is. Oh, turned. God. I should not have been as excited as I was about that. Oh, and that's a Scion with Hole Breaker. Hole Breaker is like toy... Turret Destroyer 101. There we go. Um, so we're sending three up to deal with that. Might get Jedi Ninjas casting that CC just to get him out of there. Zombie Scion, so everybody's going to kind of run. If that Scion's smart, he'll go after the inhib before he just, like, gets pasted. But he doesn't look to be that smart. 
Briar ult going mid is going to get Ash ulted. Hunting down that victor right into the Blitzcrank. Airborne, oh. all of that gets the victor. Runs away. I think our ADC is going to get that jinx. Oh, yes, nice. Are. And then hunting down the Blitzcrank. Easy kill. Just. Oh. And getting the flash out of it. That is wonderful. Uh, enemy team does take our bot turret while we're here, but we're going to take these guys and keep pushing mid. Baron is up. We might Baron here. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. We're going after the Baron Scuttle Crab right now. So I do think we're going to see a Baron here. We are seeing a Baron here. Um, there's the Yi just running around in our with our top lane and mid lane. And that's the thing. If he engages on you, you're dead. Mm -hmm. If you engage on him, you're dead. He's dead. Um, going after Baron, and it's spreading pretty quickly. And all five of our guys are up to take advantage of that. There's the Ash Bird coming in. So now they know we're there, but it's going to be way too late. There's the Baron using those Empowered Recalls to get the heck out of Dodge. And now we have the Baron advantage, too. Just pretty good good game so far. We still have a tiny, tiny uh, turret difference, but not too much is going on outside of that. It seems like there is some kind of conflict going up upper mid. In my you end. know, the thing that's really nice about our team is they're really good at steady pressure. Mm -hmm. Like, they're not going to kill you in a team, in a big epic team fight. Like, they will eventually, but that's not their thing. Their thing is... We're just going to wear you the fuck out. <laughs> like, we are just going to come and keep coming and keep coming and keep pounding. And <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> I was like, I, I didn't notice it at first, but I, I looked over and I was like, yeah, yeah. Are no, no, I mean, I, I, I understand. I understand this the sentiment of what it is that you're trying to say. So we just hired our production. <laughs> this is no, 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 no. This is not the worst comment I have made on stream. No. What, once we're off stream, I'll tell you what the worst comment I've made was. I don't our, know why they still trust me with this headset. No. Like, our league streams are usually the worst in terms of things that we're definitely not supposed to be talking about on stream. Um, um, <laughs> you know, my point is valid. Mm. And the fact that you don't think it is because of my verbiage means that your mind is dirty and in the gutter no. and you need Jesus. No, I said... That I understood the, the sentiment of what you were trying to say. I, I'm I mean, but jeepers. <sighs> I just this, guys. I can't get it. Falling <laughs> off the ash at the top lane, looking to get those turrets in the top lane now, just getting that pressure in. Um, I was talking a little bit about lines earlier, um, and right now our line's not quite as linear as we'd like it. We really do need to get those top turrets down. Three going in on that Scion. He's going to just murder him. Zombie Scion comes up, and there's nobody low to polish off. On the other Scion, we do have a 3v1. Now it's going to be a 3v2. Um, he's going to go in, but he's going to get absolutely murdered by that jinx. Um, Blitzcrank and Victor, there's the double kill. There's the zoom, just shredding for Victor. That was oh four my hits God. for the triple. I thought that might go differently, but still has Baron. Um, still has all of that. Our freaking support is just taking the turret shots right now for fits and giggles. Um... I just, I know Tiger was just like, yeah, I'll sit here and tank this. No big deal. <laughs> like, I know him well enough to know that. Going for the Ash in turret range, kind of just throwing his life away. They're not taking this too seriously at this point. Um, there's the Ash kill. That's the ace. Four kills for the Jinx on that one. Oh, my fucking God. And this is going to be Dragon Soul. Four Production. <laughs> Can you go over to the Observer computer and press O? I... Oh, yeah. Can, Can you go over to the Observer computer? And press O. Um, Byrolt coming in from across the map to get to that inhib, walking into a Blitzcrank. Thank you. Oh, um, yeah. That's what I thought it looked like. Yep. So we are seeing that Yi is 7 and 10, has the most kills except for the Scion on the team. Um, but I want to point out two scores on our side. No, put it back no. up. Leave it. I was saying keep it up. I was saying Stop keep it up. Stop typing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I want to point out <laughs> one score on their team. Yi is 8 and 10. Um, bit brutal. Was a bit higher than that. But we have an ADC who is 12, 3, and 5, and a jungler who is 11, 3, and 3. Like, those two are consistently just 
brilliant. Mm -hmm. And they lost support as 1, 3, and 18. And for support, so that's basically the same, team, same thing as a normal person being 18, 3, and 1. Support, so you really look at their assists. Yeah. Because for the most part, <laughs> for the most part, supports should not be getting kills. Yeah. Um, there are some exceptions. Pike. Pike is a notable exception because Pike's ult is, um, oh my god, what do you call it? Execute. That's what you call it. So mm. he's really easy to just take kills. Um, but we do have those top turrets down now, so we're really just pushing. One inhib down, one inhib exposed. Um, since I can't say we're going steady, we're doing the ground and pound option now. So we're doing, we're applying steady pressure in all the lanes. Yeah. Scion is nine and seven, has hole breaker, has heart steel, has titanic hydra and sunfire aegis. He is a tanky boy right now who is showing that. Um, but once again, we're seeing a top laner who's just top lane islanding. And if he helped out in team fights, then maybe the rest of his team wouldn't be, you know, Struggle. one, eight, and eight, yeah. or one, seven, and one. Like, I don't want to put too fine of a point on it, but <laughs> point. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. But we have great individual players, and they play well together as a team now. And that's one of the things that sets people apart is how well they can play as a team. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm sure I'll give this speech when we're in, like, playoffs and we've won everything and it's great. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> like, I'm sure it'll happen. Mm. But it's been an absolute frickin' honor to coach these guys because I haven't had to do much. Mm -hmm. I, like, show up, but I give them the stuff and I'm like, cool, we'll take it from here. Mm -hmm. And they just... They have put together some great team comps, some truly excellent gameplay. And like I said, most of these guys are freshmen. Like we're gonna be seeing them for three or four years here. Mm -hmm. um, so here's the problem with this team fight for us. Um, we're turning it around just because we're a bit more fed than they are. But instead of four v fouring, we were four v oneing four times. Mm -hmm. um, we are, like I said, we're fed enough. We're gonna turn it around. We're gonna get the triple kill on that and then have Syndra finish it off and for the for ace. The ace. That uh, is but we only had one left alive. And that could have been so much more dominant than of an ace than it was. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the real big issue with that ace was we let our guys get picked off 1v1. And yes, we turned it around and yes, it turned out fine, but it could have been better. Yeah. And right now I'm not looking for fine, I'm looking for excellent. Mm -hmm. So. I guess it's kind of nice to have, like, the coach's perspective on this because not only are we going into just random ranked flex queues and yep. just absolutely showing our asses off to the other team, uh, but also seeing, like, where uh, improvements can be made right. in our team. And, and nothing is ever going to be perfect. Ob obviously, of course. But they've come a long way just in team cohesion. Mm -hmm. And... I'm ex I am truly excited for Thursday. Um, I will not be here on Thursday. Uh, I have a fundraiser for my dance studio job, huh? um, which I will not shamelessly plug on here. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Um, but I will be in a rat mask and costume for three hours on Thursday night instead of being here. You can form your own opinion on which one I'd rather be doing. But The viewers can't see it, I'm just slowly <laughs> nodding at Sam here. <laughs> Um, but, so I won't be here for our first <laughs> official game, unfortunately. Uh, but I have no doubt they will do just fine without me. So, and I, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Um, they're wow. clearing the mushrooms right now from Timo. Um, and Timo's just hiding. Like I said, we're playing with Betty Crusher. That's two inhibs knocked out. Um. Their base is cracked at this point. Like, it is cracked open. Briar's just tanking that turret. Oh, yeah. Um, one inhib has respawned. The other one hasn't. Briar decided not to take the turret. This could be game here. Pushing them back into the fountain, getting kills, even while in the fountain. Um, oh, just murdering. God. That necklace is down to half now. Sion coming back out. Oh. Getting kills on the steps of the fountain. Oh, There's the fountain God. laser coming out. That's the only way to do it. And that Nexus is still at half just because we were refusing to finish it. Silence is the only thing standing in our way. We have Baron buff. We are pushing. We have the minions. There is no reason we don't finish this here now. Sion is trying to absolute <laughs> freaking 
hardest. <laughs> he is trying so hard right now, and I respect the shit out of it. Does get a kill. Is Casey now center? Might get two. He is giant. What the hell? Oh, heart steel. Um, he is getting the kills and the he's back. I don't think we finish here. I think that Scion just saved their asses. Yeah, I. That we Sion should have had an opportunity to finish well, while we were still distracted, right? Well, no, because they were coming back. We didn't. We did it. We have Baron still. We're still pushing, running in circles. Oh Enemy team my. does get the ace, but our ADC is up in three seconds. Nexus is completely open. Um, Elder Drake's up. Um, he's going to get plastered by those things. Bot inhib is taken. Top inhib's the only one still up. In's coming the Jinx ult. Um, Nexus is still at half. They're trying really hard to clear the minions. I think we get Elder, and I think we just kill here. We have a 10,000 gold lead, 17 kills. Have taken every single neutral objective that has existed in this game. <laughs> we have run them out of the map. Mm -hmm. And we are just steadily pressing. Do I think we could have finished there? Yeah, probably. Um, do I think they wanted to have a little more fun? Yes, totally. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I was like, oh, we, we, we can't stop right here. Like, God, we're still 33 have, like, in. Yeah, exactly. Like, we still have 14 minutes of lab time. <laughs> um, teleport coming in on the super minion. That's going to be our mid laner coming in. Is getting sun. Is getting chunk. There's the victor getting polished off. We're going to go for the final push here, I think. Um, we did decide to skip Elder. Um... There's the Teemo. There's the Scion. Scion is going to be the big issue again. Briar finishing off the enemy jungler. He just completely polishing him. Um, Jinx flying in. There's the Briar ult going in on the Ash. Nexus is still completely open in the two-thirds health. There's the Ash kill going in. Oh, my God. There's the Blitzcrank kill. No. No. Kill oh, the Blitzcrank. Blitz no. Oh, there's okay. The there it is. There kill. it is. Yeah. There's the Victor kill. Now all that's left is Scion. And there's the Scion stuck, kill. And there's the zombie Scion. It does not matter. Nexus is oh going to get blasted here. God. That's the game. Thanks, guys. They were really... They they saw the time. They knew how much time they had to spare, and they were like, okay, we're here again. Let's just finish yeah, it up. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah. Oh, like, my. Hi, it's us. We're back. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> For reals this time. <laughs> and you're back. Uh, For the viewers, Sam's fiance <laughs> just... Walked up behind our spectator TV. Hello. Who do you think was ringing the second cowbell? Wayne. <laughs> JJ. Our um, production team wants to go home. Yeah, like no, I can tell. No, hey, no, 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 no. Don't speed us up. We have 10 minutes. We ha we do. We have 10 minutes. No, no. Okay, let's be honest. I want to be in bed in 10 minutes. That's fair. Um. And I still have food, but. Great game. No really need for post-game interviews. We played great. League always plays great. We scare the shit out of everybody. Maybe some coaches uh, from our teams for this season were taking a look in, trying to see how we play. Uh, or if not, if they're watching the replays, I heartily say, first off, if those teams do, mm. I do from the bottom of my heart say good luck. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, we're all here to have fun. Absolutely. Um, but also, and I mean this in the truly nicest way possible, I'm looking forward to having my team kick y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, good games out there. Like... <laughs> Um, I, I come from a very competitive family. No, like, I, I don't know if we can tell, but I'm like, I want to win. And that, you know what? And that makes sense. And you honestly have the ability to do that. You have such a great. Uh, um, you know what the most, in I will say right now, do you know what the single most interesting game we're going to play all year is? What? It's going to be in about three weeks. We play College of Eastern Idaho. Just playing Live in kind here. of home, home field. Yeah. Um, I think we are technically the home team, uh -huh. but we are playing the only other Idaho school. That is playing league in e sports league. right now. <laughs> um, and they happen to put us in the same league. So we take on College of Eastern Idaho in a couple weeks. Awesome. Um, what's really funny about this is two of our players came from College of Eastern Idaho and played on their league teams. <laughs> so they know them really well. Oh. So that's going to be a game you don't want to miss. I'm getting off on a side tangent, and production wants to go home. <laughs> oh, oh, now we've added three dots. Are you going to start adding exclamation points now? <laughs> 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 oh, no, just more ellipses. I think, uh, yeah, no, we've covered everything that we need to. We've played some awesome games today, uh, but we are also all tired and ready to go home. So we will be signing off. We thank you for tuning in to our stream tonight, and we ask uh, that not only you have a good night, but uh, we hope that you tune in tomorrow uh, for our Valorant game against 
a school I don't know yet. I'm supposed <laughs> to know these things because I actually like our Valorant team, but uh, oh, oh, so you don't like our league? I team? I love our league team, but I so what was the I actually? Have, what was so the actual? The actual is, you know, like I I have a, like a, a personal relationship with the Valorant team. You know, I I tried out for the Valorant team. Uh, I, I Valorant's my though. main game. Obviously not. No, I'm like bronze too. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> No, but um, yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming and good night.